Take a look at the aftermath of terror collapse. South Korean police request to freeze assets of Luna Foundation Guard post terror collapse. Hello boys and girls and welcome to Crypto Prodigy YouTube channel, the place where we tell you everything you want to know and everything you need to know regarding your favorite cryptocurrency. In this video, as you could have guessed, we are going to be talking about none other than Terra Luna. And of course, I will be providing you with a price prediction on Terra, so if you want to find out where is this price going to go in the future, make sure to stay with us till the end of this video because first of all, we do have some amazing news that you would not want to miss out on before we tell you the price prediction. But before we go over the news, let me first share a couple of price details regarding Terra. If we take a look at the price right now, we can see that the current value is 0.301666, which is actually a drop in the amount of 13.27%. Now compared to yesterday's, the trading volume is also in the red, and right now it's down by 58.84%. So. Uh, what's going on with the price? If we take a look at the price movement, we can see that the chart is mostly in the red. But what's important for us is the red dot in the end. So where is this price going in the future? If that's what you're wondering, all you would need to do is watch this video till the end and I will provide you with that price prediction. But now, first of all, let me get back to the news that I started the video with. So take a look at this, guys. The Seoul Metropolitan Police have taken measures to freeze assets of Luna Foundation Guard following the Terra USD stablecoin bust in the beginning of May, according to a report from KBS News Monday. Specifically, the South Korean police requested certain exchanges to disable LFG from redrawing corporate funds of which are suspected to uh, be embezzled, KBS explained. A unit of the South Korean police known as Green Reaper is already investigating Terraform Lab CEO Duke One regarding tax evasion, as CoinDesk reported. After Terra USD lost its pack from US dollar, its sister token Luna dropped 100%. In a move that wiped out tens of billions of dollars from speculators, a monumental move for the crypto community as regulators as a result ramp up their calls for a greater regulatory oversight in the decentralized industry. And also guys, let me remind you, on May 17, Terraform Labs legal team quit the company. So what's going on with the price and where is it going in the future? Honestly, by the latest news, it does not look good. But if you want to find that out, I will tell you that in a moment. But first of all, guys, I would need to say that I am not a financial advisor, so if you are willing to invest in any kind of cryptocurrency, you should do your own research on this. However, the South Korean police is not the only legal issue Luna is facing right now. Take a look at this. Uh, Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey recently told Barons that Terra may be a fraudulent project. The Republican lawmaker has pointed the fact that Luna promised huge returns while offering very dubious technology. Toomey, who recently introduced a draft bill focusing on private stablecoins, added that investors were possibly misrepresenting the nature of Terra. Toomey, of course, is not alone. As reported by you today, prominent hedge fund manager Bill Ackman concluded that Terra was a typical pyramid scheme, warning that such fraudulent pro uh, projects pose a threat to entire cryptocurrency ecosystem. So guys, there are legal battles, what I'm seeing here, ahead of Terra's way. But what's gonna happen with the price, I will tell you that in a second. But what are, is the developing team doing to recover from this crash? And where is this price going to go in the future? Take a look at the latest update. Terra team confirms Terra 2.0 is not a fork, but entirely new chain. Yes, guys, I thought it was a fork until this morning but it seems we're gonna be having an entirely new blockchain regarding Terra. For days now, there has been a speculation as to whether Terra 2.0 will be launched or whether Duke One and his team will change their minds and agree to burn extra Luna tokens to receive the dwindling price. To revive the dwindling price, I'm sorry. Now it appears that Terra 2.0 will happen. However, contrary to what most people thought, Terra 2.0 will not be a fork of the Terra chain that's currently harboring Luna. Instead, it will be a whole new blockchain network that will start from Genesis Block Zero. Terra shared this revelation in a recent tweet thread. Uh, earlier on, Duke One has tweeted that Terra 2.0 will be a hard fork of Luna. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. 
Terra sought to distinguish between a hard fork and a new blockchain network in the Twitter thread. First off, a hard fork shares uh, history with the original chain, but a new chain doesn't. This means that Terra 2 will not share any history with the current Terra Luna chain. And this also means, guys, that all the dApps that are on the existing Terra Luna's chain will now have to migrate on Terra 2.0 because with a hard fork only, they would be pre-existing on the new fork. Like this, they will need to do a migration. So where will that take the price? I'm guessing in the future we will need to find out, but let me get back to the price prediction in the near future. Folks, if you're wondering if Luna is a good investment right now, let me tell you my opinion is that it's not. I'm afraid that the bears are gonna continue driving this price down until the developers decide what are they going to, go, going to do about the revival of the price, this price will continue dropping. And what I'm seeing here, as I mentioned earlier, are some upcoming legal battles uh, in front of Duke One and in front of Terra itself. So I'm not seeing the price of Terra Luna recovering in the very near future. The only way I'm seeing it is either hovering around this area or dropping further in the red. If you like this video, leave me a comment and thank you for viewing.